you like connected franchise mode guys check out gamerhuddle.com where you can export all your franchise data via the Madden companion app to their website they're also offering NFL analytics for sports handicapping and fantasy football projections and shortly they will be offering peer-to-peer wagering and league fees like fantasy football hey guys got him coach here from trythisplay.com guys shout out to Isle of God for showing me this flying this in Um, You know, guys, when you play really, really good players all day, you're bound to learn something. And, guys, I just want to expose to you the biggest glitch in Madden 20 at the Strong H Wing. Now, this is one of the metas, guys, the Strong H Wing, if you guys don't already know. People just run the stretch, the dive, and they're passing out of it, too. But, guys, this pass that I want to show you is a straight-up glitch, guys. This is nuts. So, so everyone, when they play run defense, guys, before we get into this, when they defend the Strong H Wing... um, you know, everyone likes to use that 3-4 odd edge blitz one that Henry used, you know, in the Madden Classic. Uh, that kind of helped him, you know, box Mo. Um, long story short, Mo won the second game, but it wasn't because of his run game. It was because he was improvising in the pass game as well. But guys, um, I can assure you that we can improvise as well in the pass game, especially when we have a glitch versus man-to-man coverage like this. So guys, like I said before, a lot of people to defend the strong H-wing, uh, they'll set up that 3-4 odd edge blitz. You know, they won't base align. They'll be man aligned. And um, there'll be a man-to-man coverage. I just want to show you how effective, how much of a glitch this actually is. Because, guys, no one guards the fullback. I'm about to show you in a minute, guys. I repeat, no one guards the fullback. So we're going to go ahead and pick edge blitz. Now, guys, pick stretch alert x looky. This is the play you want to come out in. If you do not come out in this play, the glitch will not work. And the play I want to do is in the quick audibles. It's PA Power O, guys. So when we hop into this PA Power O, um, there's the play art, guys. And here's the play art of the defense. Um, now you can see no one's on the um, the fullback. So when people run this play, guys, the fullback isn't guarded. So when we switch to two man under, it really doesn't matter. Still, no one's, no one's on the fullback, um, as you can see. So... This guy has no assignment, guys. No assignment. So whenever someone plays man-to-man coverage versus uh, play, the fullback is always left unguarded. So let me show you another formation. So we're going to hop in the... We'll hop in nickel. Why not? Nickel 245 odd, I guess. So I want to show you the two-man under, what it looks like. Now the, the fullback should be guarded. They really should be guarded, guys, but... They're not, guys. No one is manned up on the fullback. Now, this is a straight-up glitch, guys. So, now to, to maximize the efforts of this play, I have I have uh, Brita at running back and Coleman at my fullback position. So, you want someone fast there, guys, because when you catch him with this, you catch him in man-to-man coverage, guys, this could go for a touchdown, especially with the fast running back in the fullback spot. Uh, now, guys, for this to work... You want to send out your running back because if you don't send him out, someone's going to pick up the tight, uh, the fullback rather, because the man that's on the running back is just going to pick up the fullback. So you want to send out the running back, make sure no one picks up that fullback. And guys, you also want to send out the B wide receiver on a flat. So swing the running back to the left and flat the second tight end to the right. Now, if you have a guy like Kittle, you can put him on a post if you want, or you can leave him on the corner. It's up to you. Um, really doesn't matter, guys. But the most important thing is to streak this running back. Because if they're blitzing you guys, that's a quick dump off, and that could go for a touchdown. Now, they also have to respect Goodwin on the left side because that's also a one-play touchdown. If they're you know in a cover zero, cover one, they're user in the safety. So if they're on the safety, guys, they're going to have to respect that deep post because if they come down too far, I'm going to hit them over the top. If they stay back, I'm going to have the fullback, if that makes sense. So guys, when we hike this ball, you're going to see that the fullback is wide open. We have uh, Tevin Coleman there, and we're able to break for a touchdown. So we're going to look at this replay one more time. Now again, guys, whatever man coverage they are in, it doesn't matter. There's no assignment on that fullback. So when we look at this instant replay, guys, you're going to see that the everyone's manned up on a guy, except the guy that has no assignment, he kind of wanders off into a la-la land, Kind of follows that running back for some reason. Leaving the fullback wide open. And yes, guys, this is not a practice mode glitch. This actually works in a real game. I've done it before. And uh, you can definitely catch your opponent slipping for a touchdown where they're in uh, man-to-man coverage. 
And like I said before, guys, a lot of people are in man-to-man -man coverage this year. And also, guys, you can motion this tight end over, and that kind of gives it away, too, that they're like definitely in man-to-man. -man. Now, they could be in the zone coverage and uh, still do that, I believe. But that's probably a dead giveaway if they follow that motion man over. So again, guys, um, we know they're in man-to-man. -man. Flat B. Swing the running back to the left. And streak the fullback. Now, also, guys, when again, when they're in like a cover zero or something, um, you know, or cover one, they're going to be using the safety, guys. They might use the safety. And if they bring them down too far, we're going to have that post over the top. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to simulate what this would look like quick. Now, I wouldn't run this all game, guys, against the man-to-man, -man, because once you hit them with that fullback once, they're going to be lurking, guys, and they might pick you off. And um, again, if you're doing the same adjustments and they're blitzing you, you're going to have to get the ball off quick. So if they're in a backdoor spot like this, guys, uh, another adjustment you can do is to slant that, uh, that wide receiver uh, on the left. Because if they're backed off on them on the left, no one's pressing them. They're bringing a crazy blitz, and they're using shallow to play that uh, fullback in the flat. You can just hit X real quick on the slant, and you could go for a touchdown potentially, guys. Um, now, if they're pressing you guys, obviously put your best pr uh, release guy on the left and just basically streak them because in the man-to-man -man press, they're not going to stay with them, especially if you have a good wide receiver, guys. Um, but for the purpose of the video, I want to show you this glitch one more time, and we'll even audible out to another two-man under in another formation. So we're in the two-man under in 2-4-5 odd. You know, let's just let's go over a nickel triple. Let's see what nickel triple looks like. Again, guys, no assignment on the fullback. This is a completely different uh, man coverage, and we're it's going to leave the fullback wide open right there, as you can see, and we're gone for a big gain. All right, guys. So again, to stop this play, you're going to have to man up manually the uh, linebacker on that fullback position. So when we do this, guys, we're just going to take this guy right here. And we're going to man him up. Now, it's not showing he's manned assigned in uh, practice mode for some reason. It does, doesn't look like he's manned up on him. But in a real game, he will be manned up on him. I think that is uh, actually a practice mode error. But when we hike this ball, you see that he does follow him, even though it didn't show that he was manned up. And we're actually still able to break for a touchdown. So, guys, but no one's going to know what's going on when you first hit him with this unless they watch this YouTube video. So, you're going hit, to hit him with this once or twice a game. Uh, just make sure they're not lurking. If they are lurking down low, you hit them over the top or you hit them with that kiddo post or corner or whatever, whatever he's on, guys. So if you haven't already, please visit trythisplay.com for more premium tips, ebooks, and coaching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe.